Hello friends, welcome back to channel. In our previous video, we are talking about this SOS. So, are you tired of struggling with the Linux system detail information for OS? Welcome to the comprehensive guide of the SOS report in Linux. On this video, we will deep dive into the tool of debugging and exploring the benefit of SOS report. Point we will cover what is SOS, why we are running the SOS, how to install, how to generate the SOS report. First, so what is SOS? SOS is a command line tool that collects a bunch of the information and configuration detail of the running system to diagnose the issue. Why we are asking? Every time when you log a case with Reddit or you are facing some issue, you will generate a SOS report. This technical support engineer to analyze the system in many aspects. This report collects a bunch of information about the system such as boot information, file system, memory, host name, install RPM system IP, network details. This report contains information about Linux, install kernel, loaded kernel module, list of open file, LSPCI, mount point and other details, running processes like OS version, install kernel, tree output, process output, system routing and all the configuration file which is located under slash etc folder and all the log file which is located under bar folder. This take a while to generate a report and depending on your system, installation and configuration, it will take a place or it will take the time. So, if we run the SOS report, for that we should have a package called SOS install. Okay, it's already installed SOS. So, this is the package which we require to generate a source report. Before running a source report, you should check how much space is available in where temp because when you run the SOS report, it will generate a report and save under where temp with the SOS report and the timestamp. So our available space is 2 GB which is quite enough for my current system because it is not running something. So let me generate SOS report. Now you will think why we are asking because we have already generated K dump. K dump will help you to get the crash dump when system is getting crashed, when system is going offline. But SOS report will get generated when system is running. We will hit the enter key. It will ask press enter to continue okay first okay we are giving default option now it will collect 97 plugins or details okay so why we are being asked the output of SO support is a common starting point for a reddit support engineer while performing the initial analyzing of a service request for a reddit enterprise Linux. the use of source report help to ensure that you not being Continuously ask for multiple questions by the Reddit. Whenever you log a case, they will analyze the source report and from source report they will come to know what's the problem. So how to install RPM-IVH SOS and how to run the SOS. Run SOS report and it will generate but SOS report must be run by root user. So your SOS report has been generated and saved into this file. See, it's saved in your bad temp. We'll go to that location or you can do Okay, this is the source report. It has been generated. In this one, we have generated complete source report. But you are having option like source report hyphen L. If you do, you'll find the component. What is running? Okay, inactive, inactive. Like this, active MQ the plugin. It is enabled. The full line plugin are currently disabled. So this plugin is not taking. And the full line plugin are available, but is in off state. Okay, profile, boot, debug, desktop, GPU, hardware, and these things here. Running SS support might slow down your system for a moment till it is getting executed because it will collect the system information and your load average will get increased according to your system configuration. By default, SS report will run with four plugins in a parallel in an effort of reducing total runtime. This means cause memory and high CPU uses. To reduce this number, you can trim down the threads. So that's all about the SOS support. Now, when we are required SOS support, whenever some customer is coming or you are seeing some issue or system is not performing well or some thing is running, at that moment, first thing, run the SOS support because it will capture the current information. So if issue is there, it will get captured. But after resolving issue, if you run the SOS support, there is no use of this. Room. At the time of incident or at the time of issue, when you see, okay, so there is some issue, but we are not able to analyze it. Or there is some hardware issue, which is not getting captured. Run the SOS report first, then start doing troubleshooting. In the back end, ask your team member to analyze this source report or 
log a case with the red hat they will analyze for you if you are having a red hat support but in some environment if you are not having a red hat support or better to analyze yourself because logging a case connecting with the red hat and so support they will analyze if it's time consuming not that much so that's all for today's video hope you like this if it is adding information to your knowledge keep like share and subscribe see you in next video till then keep learning bye bye in our next video what we will learn how to analyze source report keep winning bye bye